Welcome back to shop, farm improvement. Uh, finally got the Perkins 236 uh, up and running and done. And actually we found out we're gonna end up uh, going over and painting the whole tractor. So that'll be coming up sometime in the future. Uh, but in the meantime, we've been uh, working on this uh, 1968 Ford F-250 high boy. Uh, it has the some point someone has uh, converted the engine and put a Perkins 354 uh, turbo engine out of a, co of a Massey Ferguson combine uh, with an International Harvester T34 transmission. Uh, just about got the engine back together, ready to go in. Uh, it's kind of getting a lot of stuff, as much done on the engine as we can while it's on the uh, engine stand and getting as much stuff done in the engine bay prep for it uh, while we got room to get in and work around. Uh, so I'm just going to give you a rundown real quick uh, what we got going on with it. I'll have more videos on it when I put the engine in and first start up. You can see here's the engine. Uh, painted up nice. Uh, this is an alternator with a vacuum pump made on it. Uh, talk to some people online, this is an option I want to get away from the electric uh, vacuum pump uh, for the uh, brake booster. Uh, got an S252 turbo charger. Not a real big turbo charger, but uh, wasn't looking for real high boost out of it. Uh, the customer wouldn't need a, a ton of power out of it, but it's gonna be a, quite the upgrade from the old H1D whole set. Still got a couple more pieces to put on it. Uh, our friends up at Fair Valley uh, redid our injection pump. Uh, fuel output on this pump's uh, about 200 cc's, which is probably about 75 cc's more than stock. Uh, but they also uh, set up the governor uh, to govern at 3,000 RPM and better set up for a truck application. Uh, get a new block heater installed. We were able to get our hands on a uh, on a uh, Delphi CAV uh, filter head that takes just regular plain spin-on filters. Mary uh, Valley also done our injectors for us, uh, a little bit better injector tips to match the pump. Uh, overall, the engine's looking pretty cool. Uh, got a few more things to button up on it. Uh, I did find a, uh, I used a dipstick off a uh, Dodge Cummins truck engine. It, uh, it made it up nicely on this Perkins, so before they were having to reach all the way down here and pull the dipstick to check the oil. But uh, yeah, it'll be a little bit handier for them. And uh, here's the engine bay. Still quite a mess. Got quite a bit going on. Uh, we've uh, Painted most of the sheet metal with uh, gray. This inner fender over here was pretty bad rusty. Um, but I uh, found a new one online from Carpenter. It's supposed to be here anytime. Uh, went in and got the electric lift plump, uh, pump set up, uh, kind of pre-wired. Getting some new wires, uh, pulled through the firewall. Some of the old brake lines fixed. Uh, the electric fuel pump and the electric fan uh, both uh, use a relay, so uh, I bought a relay box, kind of fix it up nice and neat. Uh, yeah, still a little bit of work to do here, but trying to get as much done while I can get inside this frame, get everything done. Uh, I'm going to work on uh, refabricating the mounts for the uh, power steering pump. And, uh, I'll do that once I set the engine back in. Kind of going to cab. There's not a whole lot to see in here, but it's a pretty nice straight old truck uh, for '68. Uh, in here, we've uh, done a lot of wiring. Uh, the entire wiring harness was kind of like just a mess. Uh, I pulled it out. I've since put it back in. I put it in last night. Uh, just uh, straightening up some bad spots, uh, figuring out where everything goes, and a lot of stuff for the 
original gas engine just uh, wasn't necessary or need to be rewired to fit the diesel correctly. Uh, I don't know if you can see or not, but I did. Uh, I did actually put new fuse boxes in uh, to use modern day fuses. Uh, one circuit switched on, one's constant hot. Uh, still got a few more things to button up in here. Trying to get everything as much as I can done before the engine's back in in my way. Uh, over here we have the uh, transmission. Got it all cleaned up nice. Uh, this is an International Harvester T34. It's uh, got the factory overdrive. And the uh, story with this truck is at some point this truck, it started out life in Oregon and ended up in Kansas. And I would imagine in Kansas it got its engine conversion. Um, because I would imagine that it ended up on a grain farm where they had a retired Massey Ferguson 750 combine sitting in the fence row. And they also had a old uh, International 1600 Lodestar because some of the load stars and they're pretty rare actually had a non-turbo 354 perkins so i imagine as they took a turbo combine engine and used the load stars bell housing flywheel and the load stars transmission put it all together and put it inside the truck uh, I know. it's gonna be a pretty cool project uh aiming to bump up about 50 to 75 more horsepower than what it was when it got to me uh, give it a little more pep it may be more than 75 more horsepower but uh yeah be pretty fun get some speed out of it the pump being governed uh power is going to help with that so well i guess that's it for now uh, like i said i'll be uh giving more videos on this project uh, updates uh on it uh Coming up real soon. Well, till next time.